One claim I hear constantly made, but rarely backed by any evidence, is that the recent resurgence of the modern Flat Earth movement was actually a planned government psychological operation. Proponents of this conspiracy theory note that before November 2014, a Google search for Flat Earth brought back less than a hundred results. Yet by 2016, the results had suspiciously and inexplicably jumped into the millions. They suggest that the CIA funded and directed this PSYOP by disseminating propaganda through their main undercover asset who started this entire movement with his viral videos and popular books nearly ten years ago. Me. There are in fact many more, even wilder theories created about me, which I have detailed and debunked in a video called Eric Dubé, Exposed or Not. I invite everyone to please watch this video for themselves, but suffice to say, I have never worked for the CIA or any government, I'm not a member of the Freemasons or any secret society, and every book I have written and video I have made has come directly from myself and my research. The idea that Flat Earth could be a government psyop is simply a knee-jerk reaction to seeing what Wikipedia claims is, quote, an archaic and unscientific depiction of the world, having an unexpected and inexplicable renaissance in modern times. The vocal objectors making these spurious statements have absolutely no basis or evidence behind their claims, and instead argue from incredulity. After only briefly looking into the matter, still hyped up on confirmation bias and dizzy from cognitive dissonance, they insist that the rise of flat earthers must be the result of society's declining intelligence or an intentional propaganda campaign to dumb us all down. In their snarky assumptions, rarely do such ball believers consider the possibility that they themselves have been dumbed down, or that the heliocentric globe model they defend is the government psyop. NASA's budget for 2024 alone is $27.2 billion, coming directly from the pockets of taxpaying Americans. That is over $75 million every single day the population is forced to pay the government. Now, with the European, Russian, Canadian, Chinese, Japanese, Indian, and other space agencies forming around the world, these organizations are raking in tens of billions of dollars annually all in exchange for occasional CGI pictures, fisheye lens videos, and some space camp alumni clapping in a control room. Never once have I heard a globe gobbler bat an eye at these staggering statistics, yet every day I get messages from them claiming I must be a charlatan doing this for the money. In other words, they overlook the overwhelming evidence of fraud and billions of dollars governments make around the world pushing the globe lie, to instead point fingers at an independent author who gives all his books away for free and endures endless ridicule and constant censorship just for saying something contrary to the government. If the question of qui bono, who benefits, is asked of both NASA and myself, it's obvious that one party actually does work for the government, making tens of billions per year, while the other is a self-published author barely breaking the poverty line. The reality is that Flat Earth is simply an idea whose time has come. The truth is, Earth is indeed an extended level plane, and that is why the Flat Earth movement has grown exponentially and refuses to go away. Sphere supporters have been blinded by generations of pseudoscience masquerading as infallible facts. They themselves have fallen for an actual government psyop, and rather than recognizing that reality, are projecting their problem onto flat earthers. Instead of acknowledging the possibility that they are the ones who've been duped, planet pushers create all manner of unfounded conspiracy theories about modern flat earthers and why we exist. It's quite ironic, actually, that people so unwilling to consider that they might have been duped by a government psyop are so willing to accuse others of the very same thing.